All right, so this is a new addition to my family of cooking utensils in my truck. I have an infrared cooktop or hot plate made by Techwood. And I have this pan here, which is pretty deep. I purposely got a deep one. I didn't want splatter and stuff coming up into the truck very easily. And uh, it's even got a little steamer hole. This looks like wood, but it's actually plastic. And this is also plastic as well. It's not wood. It looks like it's wood. It looks real close, but it's, it's actually plastic. And I'm getting ready to cook some summer sausage or smoked sausage on here and add it to some noodles that I have for dinner and there goes Miss Shasta and here's my uh, sausage normally I just nuke it in the microwave but I want to try it um, I want to try it on my new grill here or my new cookware and then I'll probably just wipe it clean I'm letting it warm up right now with nothing in it. It's starting to feel warm. Here's what it looks like. So it's like warming up, cooling down, warming up, cooling down. So I'll turn it up a little bit higher. Let it, let it do its warming up stuff, you know, it's got a light whenever it comes on. Techwood. I'll put a link in the description. I'll let y'all see what I'm using. I'll pause this. I'll come back in just a second. Alright, I'm back for a little more. I've turned up the heat a little bit more. I'm actually going to turn it up even higher. And I've got the smoked sausage in here. Apply the lid. We'll see how it goes. You see right here the steam hole is already working. Right there. Steam's coming up to that hole. It's got another hole here. Maybe this is like an inbound hole, like where the air goes in and then it comes out right here. Who knows? But whatever I have left over is going to get put in the sandwich bag for later. Back again for just a little second here. Just going to actually lift this up and let you see. Might be a good heater too. A good way to heat your truck. On them cold nights when your heater's not working. I split them in half on purpose. I wanted them to be more of a fried sausage instead of a cooked sausage. Oh yeah. Smelling good enough here. Smelling real good. how you buy a small pan and it just splatter comes flying over the top of the pan. That's why I got the bigger, deeper pan. Normally a pan's only about this tall. So I bought this one purposely to have a little bit thicker. It's smelling so good up in here right now. Alright guys, I'm back one more time here. Just wanted you to see what it looks like after I flip them over. Cooking it pretty well. Got some fried smoked sausage in there. I've got it turned up all the way. And with the 
light off like that. This means it's not heating right now, so it's already hot. That's what we got. Got us some fried sausage now. Here's something else I here, here's something else I wanted to show y'all. So like this is the Freightliner Cascadia table that they put in the trucks. And on both sides of this thing, there's handles. So if you wanted to, you could use like a bungee cord and bungee cord this thing around this table so it don't fall off. Especially if you have a bouncing around dog in your truck or something. Or if you have something else that you want to use to put this to a table or some sort of platform so it don't move around, these handles will come in handy for that. And that way you don't have to worry about it flying off if you just got done cooking and you need to let it sit there and cool for a while. I did notice at my house, I did burn it for probably 30 minutes just to burn off any kind of smells or anything that might have been inside of it and after letting it cool down for almost 30 minutes it was still warm to the touch so it needs a little more than 30 minutes to cool down if you just got done cooking something on high heat but this is what I'm doing right now in my 18 wheeler with my dog Shasta who is chewing on a bone. Shasta, how's the bone? Just the bone's pretty good. They wouldn't even let me come in early. So gotta flip that one back there in the back real quick. And I don't know where my regular fork bar so I'm using a plastic one. Probably not a good idea, but that's all I got right now. And everything is about done. Alright, well it's still hot. The grease is still in there. And basically all I'm going to do to clean it for right now is just take a dry paper towel and wipe it clean. Hold on a second. Alright, so that method of wiping it out while it's still hot works pretty well. There wasn't a lot of grease and as you can tell it's pretty clean. When I get a chance I'll put this in my shower bag and when I go in to take a shower I'll clean it up even better than what I have it here. But this is this is the exact model of the one I have here. Just so y'all can see, this is what it looks like. It looks kind of like a cast iron pot, except for it's aluminum, I think. And it's got some sort of like steel bottom to it with perforation in it, and then you can see the aluminum popping through. But it showed it to be multi-layered when I bought it on the information sheet. And then this thing is looking like this with nothing on top of it. So this is my Techwood burner or hot plate. And it's still warm, pretty warm right there. But this is what I bought it for and this is what it's gonna be used for. I probably won't ever cook steaks or anything on it, but it's going to come in handy for whenever I need to do something quick, uh, like cooking smoked sausages or eggs or bacon or something. And this is going to go on my meal tonight for my dinner. Some of this I'll actually put in the refrigerator for later on. 
maybe tomorrow or something. But thanks for coming in and watching. If you buy these oval plates right here, they fit right on top of the skillet perfectly. And this is my finished product. Basically it's noodles with some ranch dressing and you got the summer sausages uh, or smoked sausage, whatever you want to call this. Yep, that's what I made for dinner tonight. It came with like grilled chicken, but I, I really don't like the flavor of that grilled chicken. So I cooked my own meat. And this is what I came up with.